sometimes knowing what to wear can be a challenge from fit to color. And that also means shopping for clothes can be a little challenging too. My first guest this morning is showing us a unique way she can help you figure out the best colors to wear. Color analysis coach Susie Butler joins me now. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Yes. I'm so excited. This is going to be so much fun. I've always wondered like, is a little black dress really the best thing that I should be wearing or what is my color? So what is color analysis? Well, color analysis is the process of analyzing your skin tone, your hair color, your eye color, even your lip color, and finding colors that harmonize with your natural coloring. Ooh. And so we're going to find colors that make you sparkle and glow and shine. Oh my gosh. Well, I <laughs> love that already. So let's get started. Walk okay. me through your process when you get a client. Okay. So first of all, I usually have my clients wear less makeup, but that's okay. We're okay, on TV sorry. and I am... <laughs> And then I put a white cape on you to neutralize any colors that you're wearing. Mm -hmm. So I always start out with finding your undertone, which is the key in color analysis. When okay. you know your undertone, it's kind of like the why in the road. You either go, you either have a warm undertone or a cool undertone. Sometimes you can have a neutral undertone, but you kind of lean one way or the other. Okay. And um, so we're gonna find that out right now. Oh. And so if you have a warm undertone, you would probably be either a, a spring or an autumn. And if you have a cool undertone, you would be a summer or a winter. I'm so intrigued. Yeah. Okay, so you so, start with the silver kind so of So these metallic? are the metallic drapes okay. that I use. And so silver represents cool. We're looking at your face. What does your complexion mm. do? Okay. Does it, um, is it smooth and radiant or are there, um, shadows and wrinkles mm. that are enhanced with um we don't want that we don't want that no <laughs> so this is the silver okay. and then when we take that away we look at the gold Ooh. and now i'm usually drawn to gold like i love gold jewelry and it just feels a little warmer but i don't know what do you think well i think you look better in the gold i okay. really do and so you're on the right track okay. gold if you have a warm undertone you are um, going to look best in gold it'll look richer and uh, more expensive on your skin. If you're Ooh. wearing the wrong color uh, metal, it can look a little cheap and off. It does look a little off. So all things that I wouldn't know that it's like enhancing your wrinkle, like just, I don't know. Like, yes, well, when you wear the right colors, it really puts light on your face. It makes you look healthy and vibrant. I love and it. that's what we want, right? Okay, so next so, up. So, okay, so that was my first test. I have a second test for undertone, which is using pinks. Now, mm. um, First, we're gonna see what you look like with a blue-based pink, which mm. when you're looking at cool, this represents cool colors. When you look at cool colors, um, they're mixed with blue. Okay, so that's the cool pink, and then Maybe. okay, when we take oh. that one off, this is the warm pink. A little like blood orange. Yes. Okay. Now, it's hard to tell sometimes in the camera, but when you look at it, here, we're gonna do it one more time. Okay and we pull it away, you look like you're just more radiant and you are- um, In this guy? Yes, in the okay. warm pink. And you ha your lip color, I mean, you have <laughs> lipstick on, but <laughs> usually you can really see oh. the glow in the face. Like okay. you can see the cheeks pop, the, the eyes pop. We really want to create harmony and have all your features be the focus and have every, you know people looking at you, not looking down at the color. Definitely. Because okay. when you're wearing the wrong colors, it could look like the color is wearing, is wearing you. you. Right. Now, Which I don't think the cool pink is all that bad, but I do like I was going to say, this, I tend this. to like love the color pink, but yeah. this is all very, because you want to look your best and feel right. your best and put your best foot forward. So, yeah, so okay, what's So next? I'm leaning that you are warm, although I still feel like you, you um, have a little bit of neutral undertone in you too. Okay, okay. So next what I like to do is walk you through each season. Ooh. Okay, color analysis has been around for a long time since the 80s or before. A lot of people might remember Color Me Beautiful. Okay. And so now it's it's gotten more modern and um, you know, there's the four seasons. We have the spring, summer, autumn and winter. And nowadays it's, we have sub seasons of each season. So you can really dial down specific color palettes that really Speak harmonize best with you. Yes. And it's all over TikTok now. Okay, oh yeah, so it's, it's so fascinating to watch because, and that's why it's so great. It's so popular <laughs> on um, social, social media. media. Yes. Ooh, so okay. this, this is 
the spring palette, it's warm, but light and bright. It's not really doing anything I was gonna say, I feel like this is doing nothing <laughs> for me right now. So yes, this okay. is not, um, not for you. Not for me. <laughs> this is the summer palette, mm -hmm. and this is cool, but light and muted. It's, it's, it's not doing you have, I was, I was yeah. gonna say, this is still doing nothing for me. Right. <laughs> this is a humbling experience. <laughs> hey, there's a, there's a palette for everybody. We'll find one we'll for you. We'll find it. <laughs> this looks a little messy over there. Okay. okay. This is winter. Now winter mm. is cool. It's saturated and bold colors. You have really beautiful dark hair and darker eyes. Um, yes. And yes. I always like to look at the eyes really well um, to, that's a, a key, a key to help me figure out where, where you're gonna be falling. So anyway, the winter's not bad on you. Yeah. But when we look at the autumn. Oh, hello autumn. Hello autumn. A little warmness. <laughs> this is a warm, <laughs> these colors are warm, muted, earthy, and there we do have some vibrant colors in here too, but mm -hmm. I really think you look really nice on the. I know, and I tend to like love all those browns and all these colors are definitely in my yes. closet, so. So, Good news. Yes. So once I find your home season, which is autumn for okay. you, I like to dive a little deeper and find what your sub season is or your flow season. Now flow season is sometimes people um, may not be specifically um, of autumn or a summer, but kind of fall right in the middle. Mm -hmm. And so they look better with a little mix of those colors or more neutral colors that kind of meet at okay. that point in the in the color wheel. So, so do I have a flow well, season? Well, I kind of think I might like you with one other. It, this is going to look different, but it, this is called the deep palette. Oh, okay, so this has more yes. deep neutral colors. I'm yes. home. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Yay. So these colors are beautiful and regal and just gorgeous on you. And so I would code you as a deep autumn so you can wear these deeper colors when I um, show these color flags I really like to point out the reds these are great for lip colors Ooh. these are accent colors um, your neutrals are these really dark browns mm -hmm. dark charcoal grays and even lighter grays we have kind of a, a an off-white here that's gonna look great and you can wear black Oh. You can wear black in this yay. palette. <laughs> yay, yay, a lot of yay. people get worried, oh, you know, when they get their colors done, they're not going to be able to wear black. Right. Well, every palette has a better than black. And, you know, you're lucky you get to wear black. Winter is the only palette that has black, and so is the, and, um, is the same with the deep palette. So, so there's a incredible. few of you who, who will look great. Black is just a little too um, heavy on a lot of people yeah. so if you really want to create harmony with your own coloring and you want to look fresh and lively black might not be the best one but there's always a, a better but there's choice there's always better than black for yes. some okay yes. and why would someone want to like why is color analysis so important i know just, <laughs> just keep me let home you, well, i'm just, just gonna wear let you this. wear them <laughs> why would someone want to do this you know i feel like this would definitely make my mornings go faster, oh, smoother. Yes. Why are some yes. other reasons why people would love to do this? Well, like you said, when you start creating a, a wardrobe with in your color palette, everything becomes harmonious and you get to mix and match. Everything starts to mix and match so easy. So it's easy to pull things and make create outfits quickly. And you know you're gonna look your best when you are wearing colors that have that are in your color palette. So it's kind of like a confidence boost. You're gonna know, hey, I'm putting my best foot forward yes. when I'm leaving the house for the day. <laughs> and it can save you time and money. When you're shopping with a color palette, you know exactly what colors to look for and what colors to just walk on by. Amen. Thank you so much for being here. You were amazing. This was so much fun. Yay.